Howdy ho witches. I'm down here at the riverside today where I wanted to start a conversation on ritual baths. You know, it was probably a place similar to this, to the river, maybe a lake or the ocean side where we would have in the past come down to wash the soil off our body and then, you know, like one day someone says, well, maybe it'll wash my pain away. Maybe it'll wash my disease. It'll sweep it on down the river, back to the ocean from whence we came. So I think a lot of the customs around ritual submersion and ritual baths all come out of that same kind of basic concept. A lot of our customs around the river, whether it be the River Ganges or, or, or Jordan or Danu or whatever the river be, all these customs through all of man's short memory of ourselves they've developed and stuck because they're meaningful they're important it's so simple you know whether whether you're getting baptized using it as an initiation and getting baptized and coming up in the light of your God or whether you're washing your hands and face and maybe the nap of your neck before prayer they're all connected to the same idea purifying yourself to be in the presence of your gods anyways um, if this sort of thing interests you uh, press like and subscribe and I'll meet you up in the yard where we pulled out a great big cast iron bathtub and I'll take you through a ritual bath that we use in Wicca I think for the most most people in Wicca use it as preparatory work for the ritual they're about to do and that's what this is for too so I'm going to have a bath before I do a bath. <laughs> I'm going to have a swim before I do. And I'll meet you up there, which is how to hope. So, you can see how it all works here. It's just a great big cast iron bathtub. Set it up on rocks. Um, now, normally, the idea is you're going to build a fire under here, right? And then you need to put little wooden slats in here. But I've just pulled it up and I wanted to show you this, so I just put it up on some rocks. In the future, I'm going to move it up over in, into the forest there. <laughs> I need help to get it there, so it'll be a little bit. Hopefully before the end of the week. Anyways, um, so what we do is we fill this up with hot water from the tap. I'm going to do that at this time. Like I say, normally, hopefully by this Friday, what happens, I'll have it up on rocks and heating it and getting my water from the river. Um, but to show you what it's about, I'm just going to do it here. I'll fill it up with hot water and then I'll boil up the tea that we'll gather today and uh, add the, the goat's milk and the flowers and make an all around pretty bath, light some candles and uh, show you how it's done. That's bee witches. Mmm, this is catnip. Um, this is going to be the main ingredient for our uh, tea, or simple, or whatever you call it to put in the bath. Along with this, this is chocolate um, mint. I planted this spring. And uh, I'll try to get a few other things. There's some, uh, oh, wild chamomile the real short little stuff some people call it pineapple something but i can't really remember what they call it mmm it's great so i'll gather up some more of this and bring this to the altar and i'll see you there in just a bit a little bit of time with the bumblebee a little bumblebee i put the time in just for the magic of it all. For a time that is not a time and a place that is not a place. So there's the little daisy. Now, I don't have a clue what the real magical properties as in the books say about a daisy. But to me, 
It's all just white magic. Beautiful, happy magic. The daisy. The daisy. Howdy ho, witches. So this is the hot water. Now, I'm gonna start, and just for the magical context, I like to put time in it. And just for the white magic and the happiness of a daisy, I'll put the daisy into it. And we have here is the mint. Cut that up into it. Another nice piece of it here. And then all the catnip. It's the real base of it. And it smells so good. You can put stalks in the whole thing. It's all for the smell, right? Oh man, what a smell. Mmm. Catnip. Um, and then we have chamomile, put that in there, and then I don't know if you remember this, we'll put that in there, and this is balm, balm of Gilead, just a little touch, just to give it that spice. We'll pour this in the actual bath, too. There we go. Now we'll cook this up and we'll go get other things ready for the bath. Well, there you have it, witches. The fires and the smoke. It's been very difficult. It hurts my lungs to be outside too long. So I kind of put a kibosh on some of the filming I had planned. Anyways. I'm going to do it in the smoke. Blessed be. So here we are, witches. We're at the bath. It's got lots of hot water and we've made it a nice pretty thing. Something that someone would love to come along and go, wow. Yeah, I can cleanse my flesh and soul here. <laughs> um, we've gathered the tea we made and put all that together and I, I, I boiled it down to a smaller package a smaller amount so it'd be easy to pour we got the goat's milk and now you know there's a lot of symbologies that you can play around with with milk from you know like the source of life we're dipping ourselves back into the womb and source of life the nurturing qualities of the goddess we're allowing all her nurturing to cleanse us it's very nice. So that's the goat's milk. And I think that, you know, obviously the goat's milk is good for your skin. <laughs> but um, I think it's really cool because in witchcraft, there's, at least for myself, I have an affinity for goats. 
um, and a little bit baking soda. Now, so this is just to make your skin feel really good. All of that. It's just a little bit of baking soda. And I got a couple other things we'll add. So let's just start. Now, usually I would start by blessing the wonderful creature water. Blessings be upon thee. For I exercise thee to cast out all impurities, all uncleanliness from the spirit and the spirits of phantasm. And blessings be upon thee, O creature of salt. Let all hindrances and malignancies be cast henceforth and let all good enter in wherever are we mindful as water cleanses the body so does salt purify the soul O oh, mother of life Pour forth your cleansing, nurturing magic that we may be purified, that we may be cleansed, that we may be suitable to enter into your presence. And I summon thee, O oh little creatures of plant and root and leaf and stem, thyme, daisy, cotton, a cup of tea, a cup of tea, a cup of tea. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> A cup of tea. Let's put some more incense on here. Let's make the, the air smell sweet and nice. One thing about gathering up your own incense from the trees is you can really use it copious amounts, as a very good old friend of mine would say. And I put in the bacon soda, a magic they may not recognize. That'll make your skin, oh, it's just incredible. It makes it feel so good, as does the milk, as will the tea. Ah, oh, this is gonna be wonderful. Now, just to thicken things up. A blood red wine. And with it we invoke the lady's lord of the wine, the fruit of life's fruits, the blood of the vine. Oh, a little bit of daisy, daisy, daisy. Always a daisy. A few others here. This is a great big daisy we have. Let's pull one of those out. I forget the actual name of that, but that'll float really nice in it. The ones I've been most looking forward to doing are these big roses. And you just take the petals and you just roll them off and put them in there. A 
Looks all very beautiful. Very beautiful. A little bit more red to it. float in there like that and the two some of these little pink ones <sighs> um so now I dedicate this bath and all its magic, white, pink, yellow and green, red, and shades of gray. I dedicate this bath to cleansing, to healing. To being, to being before our God, to being in the presence of our God. <laughs> and there's a couple other little things that I would put in. You can come up with all sorts of things. Use your imagination. So. And of course, we have Balm of Gilead. May the power of the river flow through this bath. Wash away the regrets, the sorrows, the pains of the day. <laughs> Mmm, smells so good!